What's up, y'all? My name's Chelsea, and I'm a somatic healer, sexologist, and a relating bliss coach. I want to talk about today three reasons why women can take a long time or maybe not reach peak pleasure at all with their partners. You know, it's a common grievance that I get from a lot of my clients where they have no problem reaching peak pleasure solo, but have a really difficult time with their boo. This can create so much frustration and a lot of insecurities in their partner and within themselves. It creates a whole buttload, <gasps> literally, of problems together. It's so unnecessary, but I get it because I've been there too. I'm in an 11 year long relationship now and there's been countless times when you know we've been in the heat of the moment, we're almost reaching peak, we're climbing the mountain together, and nothing. So I want to give you guys three reasons why this could be happening. There's a whole bunch of them, but the, I'll cover three today. Let me know if you guys want a part two. Number one reason is feeling not comfortable. And when it comes to comfort, there are three different layers to this. The first one would be our emotional layer. This means, do you have any unprocessed emotions dwelling in your body still? Whether it's a new lover or your longtime boo. If you've got unprocessed emotions in your body, you actually feel incredibly unsafe. It makes it really difficult to trust not only yourself, but your partner too. And in order to feel pleasure and to build pleasure, you need to feel safe and trusting so that you can surrender into the waves of bliss. And the second layer is physical. So this just means, you know, do you feel comfortable in the positions that you're being moved with your boo? And if you don't, you know, you're going to feel tight, it's not going to feel comfortable, and there's no pleasure to be had. So in order to combat this, I, I recommend daily stretching or even just stretching prior. Do not underestimate it, especially as you get a little bit older, like myself, you know, stretching is super important and allowing yourself to have really deep belly breath. Because along with not having the flexibility, our body can just be tense, tight. If you're an avid gym gomer like myself, you know, you have tight muscles, stretching regularly is super supportive to that. And taking the time prior or even during to do really deep belly breaths. This allows you to unlock your pelvic bowl, which is the housing your genitals. And if your genitals are feeling constricted, there isn't a whole lot of blood flow and it's just gonna feel tight and tense and that actually will not make for more pleasure. For women, what you want is a strong and supple pelvic bowl. You can combat this with yoni egg practice. Another way to call it is a vaginal weight training. This allows your vaginal walls to be strong enough and not too tight so that you can contract and release to allow pleasure to move through your genitals and through your entire body. And the third layer is psychological. Do you have any fear or uncertainty of what's going to happen next, what they might do, what they may not do, then you're not going to be in your body and you're gonna be constantly in your mind. You may even have fears about if someone's hearing you or someone's not gonna hear you. You know, There's all kinds of things going on up there. So take time prior to discuss with your lover what you're willing to do, what you're not willing to do, and have some clear communication of what you both want to explore together. The thing is, when you're solo, you don't have to worry about a lot of this stuff. You know exactly what to do, you know how to do it, and you get right down to the point. You don't have to worry about anyone else. So it makes it a lot easier to not worry about all these layers when you're by yourself. And the second reason why is pressure to perform. And you see, you can have internal pleasure, putting that pressure on yourself to have to get to some sort of place to feel pleasure with your partner. But when you're alone, it doesn't matter. You know, it's just you and you because you care, you wanna have a beautiful experience with them, you don't wanna let them down. Or there could be quite literally external pressure from your partner, which is just a no and just not, not the vibe. <laughs> it is just not the vibe. Make sure you have a conversation with your partner and let them know if they are making you feel pressured to, whether it to be hard or pressured to 
you know, move around in a certain way, that it, that's not serving, you know, your pleasure. And ultimately, when someone is not having pleasure in the entire experience, there's no pleasure at all. This is a partnered experience. When it comes to peak pleasure, the desire and the pressure to reach climax is just enough tension to short circuit pleasure altogether. Shift your foe from climbing the, the peaks to building arousal together instead. And the third reason why hidden or maybe not so hidden body shame. When you're self-conscious, you will not be able to stay with the sensations in your body because you're so concerned if someone's looking at that cellulite or looking at the jiggling of your butt or the jiggling of your stomach or whatever it is you're self-conscious about or your smell or the sounds that you're making. And because of this, many will completely shut down because they don't believe someone else, especially their boo, even enjoy touching them and take pleasure out of touching them. I invite anyone that has any type of body shame to take time to look at yourself in the mirror, completely nude, and appreciate this body, appreciate what you've gone through, what you've been through, you know, how you've gotten to, to be who you are today. Find compassion for your body and just love up on yourself. Now, there are so many reasons why this could be happening, and these are just three. So again, if you want another part two, let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, and I'll get that out to you guys. Just remember, when you're with your lover, your bodies are constantly communicating. Your climax, your orgasm is alignment. And our bodies know how to get there. They will communicate through sensations on what they need to experience alignment together. But the key here is just to enjoy that process along the way. Just like anything in life.